We need something that comes from heaven. The task is too great. Your return is too soon. Eternity is too long to play games. God, do what you want done today. That these men and women are prepared for the future and that your name is glorified. We really believe that trained men and women are really going to be able to reach today's generation really emphasize building the character of someone and that person can go out and do ministry the greatest thing we can do for our students is to build their confidence give them some experience and then graduate them debt free so they can go absolutely anywhere god leads them to go without having to worry about the financial debt from being trained for ministry i knew this was the right decision and where god was calling me just from the peace i have from being here and the presence that God has in this place and the community aspect of the school in general. I really would say the school is unified. I mean, that's a big thing, obviously, in the church world today. And it really feels like the school is like a family. And when you go to dorm, even though you mess with each other, it's still that bond like you have with a brother. And you really just, you can experience that when you come to faith, is that you would all love each other and just seeking after God. From classrooms to going to the chapel, um, Everything here is just centered around getting to know God more and then from that learning how to reach out to other people and um, share God with them. Really prepares you for whatever you want to do in life, right? Uh, wherever God is going to place you, whether it's a traditional ministry or non-traditional ministry, I think the most important thing they do here is with spiritual growth and helping you to, to grow from the inside out. You learn it in the classroom and then you get to do it hands-on and that really has solidified it for me so that um, I will feel confident going out into the ministry once I graduate here that I know what I'm doing but I'm also leaning upon the Holy Spirit to do what God's called me to do. Just having those opportunities to where you truly get to go out and be the hands and feet of Jesus. You have those opportunities to meet people where they're at and show them the love of Jesus. Like I've gotten to do a clothing and food drive. I've got to preach before. I've gotten to do all these different things to where I truly do get to be the hands and feet of Jesus here on earth. So many times you say after these four years I get to start my ministry or this and that, but you truly start your ministry the first day you walk in 